Welcome between these hallowed hedges, Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, home to the Georgia Bulldogs, where they've had a little chicken, they've had a little drink, and friends, it's time once again to let the big dogs eat. Today, a rank versus rank matchup as a couple of top 25 teams get set to go jaw to jaw. As we'll see, the number 24 team in the country, the Texas A&M Aggies, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Georgia about to kick it off to get us underway. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Aggies offense will start this game off. And when you take the field with the confidence, the swag that this guy does, David, it just really elevates your confidence in the passing game. That receivers don't usually lack confidence, and those are the guys that kind of set the tone. And that's sweet. And the pressure gets him back in the eight-yard line. Well, it wasn't great field position to start with, and it's getting worse now. The defense gets a sack. They're getting aggressive up the field. They get to the QB, and they're sending a message. They've got them pinned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. Looking downfield, it's Wegman. They're working that left side. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Man, we're seeing the tight end use more and more in the passing game. You, you see him moving inside. You see him moving outside. You see him moving in the box to block people. So here they put him in the slot. Just have a nice little pitch and catch session. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. They're bringing heat. Got it in the middle. It's Muhammad. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Personal foul. Personal foul. Look at the pass. Pass. Defense. Defense. I know defenders hate quarterbacks and love nothing more than hitting them, but you're hitting yourself in the gut when you get a 15-yard penalty. Fires to the tight end. No chance to run, but still a solid pickup on that one. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. Nice job there by the receiver on the out route, not telegraphing where he's going. He can't be peeking to the outside, giving the defender an opportunity to break on the ball. He kept his eyes right down the field. DB had no idea where he was going, and that helped make that completion a whole lot easier. They keep attacking through the air. Got a man. It's Muhammad. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. And the Aggies are on the move. And you want to know what impact home field advantage can have? There it is. The offense will walk it back. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. This crowd knows when to bring it. Calls his own number. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. On the run, it's Moss. Oh, it gives him the tough stiff arm. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. 
They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. Going to the running game. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, there's just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. As a result, they lose yardage. take the check down touchdown Aggie and they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them you want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early it's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game and get himself established you make a couple throws you lead your offense down the field you score right off the bat could not have been a better start for that QB They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point makes it 7-0. A 69-yard touchdown drive. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Georgia's offense has the ball for the first time. These two dudes who both come off the edge can wreck an offensive day, Jesse. Man, these quarterbacks better have an internal clock working today. If you hold on to the football, you are getting sacked. The best athletes on the field are defensive linemen, and when you've got guys like this that can get after the quarterback, points will be at a premium. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. I love defenses that can tackle the catch right away. They're not giving up any yak. As soon as that player has the ball, he goes down now. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And you got to do a better job up front right there. That run was doomed from the get-go. Nowhere to go. The back gets hit as soon as he gets the football. Hard to succeed as a running back when you get the ball and you get clobbered. And the running game has gone in the wrong direction. The offense tries to turn it around and go forward on third down. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Setting up the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Georgia sends out the punt team. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. No return coming here. Fair catch is signaled for and made just shy of the 30. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. To the ground with the back. And they get him down. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and, and an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down marker, tried to get to it, got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, and I got fourth down in my pocket if I want to go for it. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, this defense knew that they were going to be seeing some option in this game, and right now everybody's doing a nice job playing their assignments. On the third play of that drive, they were expecting it, and everyone communicating 
and all rallying to the football. That was nice to see if you're the coaching staff. The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. On the move, it's Evans. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no ribbon in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. He'll run it again. Still running at the 40. Stopped at the 43 after the 15-yard pickup. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run deep coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on all fronts. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give to the tailback. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? To the air, it's back. They're trying to get to it. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. And the defense there goes zone coverage. Maybe confused the quarterback a little bit. Forced him to hold on to the football. And that allowed the pass rush to get home. Georgia lining up to put it away. In Fair catch called for and made. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. How about that play by the speed back? We hear about speed backs, and he's not the guy that runs in between the tackles. But let me tell you something. When you're trying to catch a guy like that, and you're running full speed with everything you have, a lot of times you're just trying to get him to the ground, and you're not trying to put a good shot on him. And then all of a sudden, they're breaking tackles. Great job by that young man. Takes a handoff. It's Moss. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Movement on the offensive line. That's going to be a false start, and they'll walk it back. False start. False start. False start. False start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Running back searching for a hole. Slips one guy, and now he's loose. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down.
Texas A&M has the lead at the end of the quarter. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. The Aggies are on the move. From the gun, they'll try the middle. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. And now on second down for this offense. The give to the back. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. To the air, it's Wegman. Pressure coming. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. That is no good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Going for it all. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. They're ripping off chunks of yard to get it to the 33. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense. Understanding what the defense is giving them and creating the explosive play. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Pulls and throws off the RPO. You're not getting him on the ground. Still on his feet. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And it's a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess, Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off, great job getting the backfield, making the play. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. Able to get a couple on the play. He's down at the nine. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. 
Looking for the touchdown on third and goal. He's got it on the move. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are and they work with their quarterback and they find them and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. Absolutely perfect. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Texas A&M has it back on the offense, ready to go to work. From the gun, the ground game. Finds Zach Brees, and he's got four out to the 29. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Out of the gun, the give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. To the air, it's Wegman. He makes the grab. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And the runner is down, and so is the flag. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Wide receiver shows motion. They go to the ground. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Now on second down. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I'll tell you, this is a hard defense to run against if you're going to go sideline to sideline because of that guy's speed at linebacker. He can get all the way to the perimeter, chase the quarterback down on the option, and make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Impressive. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. Texas A&M will have to boot it away. Second time today, they've been forced to punt. He'll call for the fair catch here. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David, only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. Right? The passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. 
Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. And that's the problem with blitzing on defense. You live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. Defense dialed up the pressure, but the offense had a better play call. They ran it away from the blitz, and that's why they were able to be successful. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. They'll try to run for it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. Georgia sent out the punt team. On to punt and away. On the return, it's Barber. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. They'll leave it with him. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Might as well stick with him. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Second down coming up. To throw it's Wegman quickly to the tight end they bring him down but a solid pick up to put them in position to pick up a first down you know David this is really what game managing is nice pick up on second down to help them on the next play yeah I think people look at that negative sometimes finding a quarterback that's a game manager no use your brain set up good situations I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks at a more manageable situation and I'm not as predictable on a third down. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Here's the snap. Itching to fire downfield. Got him downfield. And a big game there. He's knocked down immediately at the 45. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. Texas A&M back to work with another first down. He wants to throw. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. When you're on defense and you get to play outside linebacker, it's about as good as it gets, right? I get to rush the passer just like this and put him on the ground. Then I get to cover in space. I get to move all over the place. Great job by the outside linebacker. The most fun position to play in college football. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. He's looking for an open man on second down. Great coverage, great break on the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. So we gotta secure the catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch balls. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. Here's the handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Great play by the defense there. And listen, they got to do more of this. Running backs obviously had a lot of success. They got to continue to stop this run game, be physical, and not let this guy beat him. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Using his legs, it's Etienne. 
That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. Back to throw, it's back. Fires to the wideout. On target to the left. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. Got his man downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that that's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. They've got it inside the 30 at the 28. First down. He's going to pass. Finds a spot in the middle. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between QB and receiver. They look like they can execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. To the air on first down. Can't make the connection in. Complete pass and one second remains. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. They'd love nothing better than to add a three ball here before the break. It is perfect. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, men. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Athens. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas between the hedges in Sanford Stadium. bringing that out for a half second but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. we're ready to get another look at this bulldog offense not a lot of scoreboard fireworks from these guys in the first half but they've got a chance here after making some halftime adjustments yeah and remember it just takes one play to kick the door open and all of a sudden there's a lot more confidence again so which guy on this offense can hit the big home run and break this thing open. Well, and the good thing is it's such a low-scoring game. I'm still very much in this. I can be who I am, make a few tweaks, make a few adjustments, and get this offense rolling. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. They'll try the run. Nice move to pick up yardage. And five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Now the play fade. He'll take a shot. Can't hang on in the end zone, and that one is going to drive him crazy when he watches it. It'll be third down. Oh, I bet the QB is steaming because he did an awesome job. He drops back, and he can tell he's got the matchup he wants on the outside. He's got an open receiver, throws it to him. Great ball. 
right through his hands. Missed opportunity for a big play. Missed opportunity for a touchdown. Grab near the marker. It's love it. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down. They've got it at the 40. That's tough on the defense there. Third down, your end zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. And the dogs are moving quickly down the field. Motion from the offense. Back to pass. It's back. Quick strike complete. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. That last completion sets him up on second down. The give to the back. Nifty little dance step. Tackled after picking up the first down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. The Bulldogs come to the line with a new set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Quickly complete. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. There's just so much chemistry between this quarterback and his receiver. And you saw it right there. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. Gonna run it. It's ETN. Staying physical in the red zone as he's pulled down after picking up three balls at the 14. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. The dogs are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback. Stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. It's a good job, too, there on third down by the offense because a major statistic in football in terms of winning and losing is how good are you at staying on the field, keeping drives alive. Whether it's third and long or third and inch, you just have to go execute. They do. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And that one will put them up here in the second half. An impressive, long, methodical, meticulous drive ends in points. They just matriculated the ball down the field, didn't they, Reese? So impressive. Didn't see a lot of explosive plays. But how about the execution? Running and throwing the football. Wow. Two-point conversion attempt is on the way. Trying to bully their way in. Striving for the goal line. Loose football. Oh, the offense, very fortunate to fall on that football. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone, it's Allen. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you 
and attack them. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Looking for room. It's Moss. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, I think the running back kind of went rogue on that last running play. I'm not sure it was designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own. Unfortunately, ended up losing yards. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Unloads it left. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Then they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got it in the middle. It's green. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. Well, another catch by the big fella. And, hey, this defense now in the second level, they've got to understand that they're going to see some play action. They can't keep biting on the fake. It's not easy to do. You've got to be aware of the tight end and his release. As soon as you see him get upfield, right now you know it's pass. So don't even worry about the fake. Get your eyes focused and find the big fella to go make a tackle and make a play on the ball. Looking to throw, it's Wegman. Fires to the big fella. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Single back formation, and they give it to it. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. Leaves it with the running back. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in the gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be. Nowhere to run. Third down and this crowd will pull out a vocal cord to help this defense. From the gun, wants to pass. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short in your in-field goal range. What do you do here? They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. He'll line it up from 34 yards out. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, and how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. Clock taking away as we have four minutes left here in the third. 
they'll give it to the back. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. They'll give it to him again. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. And the defense is doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Looking to pass. It's back. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. Yeah, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give him these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Georgia going back to work with another first down. They'll put the tight end in motion. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Open space at the 25. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that hand off to the right, you see that blocking and all the holes open up. That's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. Well, when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side, they just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps, and man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal in front. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll go to the ground. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And the Bulldogs trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. It's complete to the left. Touchdown, Dogs! Reeled it in and just made the house call. The quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. He'll try to tack on one more. The extra point is good, and they have a nine-point lead. They go 83 yards on the drive, and they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step two here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Line getting set on second down. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Let's see what they've got on second down. Scanning the field, it's Wegman. 
fires to the big fella. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. It's first and 10 for this offense from the 42. Now they'll try the right side. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. And they got to get more creative. Or whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front seven has dominated this entire game. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is going to win every time. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Got it behind the line. It's Thomas. That play didn't have much of a chance to get the first down. Good job by the defense keeping everything in front of him. Great job keeping everything in front, and most importantly, making the tackles. Dropping back deep, knowing it's third and long, but I got to get the guy on the ground and rally to the football. Nice job by the defense. The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, I got to take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. I got to be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. The RPO, fire complete to the left. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. They move the chains on the ground. Now another first down. Dropping back, it's back. Flips it out in the flat. They get him down after he makes the catch. And this offense, I think, will do a good job in this game divvying up the football and distributing it to different guys in the passing game. It won't just be receivers. It's not going to be tight ends. This running back, he's a weapon, too, after he catches it. You saw it right there. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Leaves it with the back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Great job on first down. Great job on second down. This defense needs to come up big one more time. They got to get the stop. Big time moment. I got to get my offense the football back. A third down try for the offense. Here's a snap. Ready to cut one loose. Quickly out to the tight end. They'd hope to be able to pick up enough after the catch, but a good stop leaves them with a fourth and short. Really good job by the defense being physical, understanding the situation in the game. The ball's going to come out quick. You know that. Go make the tackle. Force the fourth down. Georgia lining up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And the punt will hit at the 7, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Hands it off. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. Fast motion from the offense. To the air. It's Wegman. Throws to the tight end. Wide open downfield. 
That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. And yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. Use the play fake, now to throw. With the catch, it's Muhammad. Across the 25, he's got room. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. Wide out in motion. On the ground, it's Moss. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. Texas A&M will line up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. See if they can get it done on second and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Looking downfield, it's Wegman. Fires into the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Puts three on the board. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bell. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. From the gun, the running back has it. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. This was on the Defense way over eager there, and now the entire playbook just opens up before the eyes of this offensive coordinator. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Dropping back, it's back. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. It's obviously huge to make the catch, but give that receiver credit. Nice spatial awareness, knowing where he is on the field to make sure that he's in bounds when he secures the catch. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. He's looking to throw it. 
grabbed in the middle. It's Lovett. And he's brought down after a nice game. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. From the shotgun, the inside give. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. It's third down, and they've got to get it to the 33. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed over the middle. It's Bell. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. From the 30-yard line on first down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. you got to believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Looking for space. It's ETN. Not a lot of movement on that one. The defense in position. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. It's good. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing the Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. And the coverage team able to wrestle it down. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. Yeah, I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. And generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Looking for a man. It's Wegman. Fires in the trap and kicked off. Didn't get a chance to show off those running skills, but he gives him the ball at the 29-yard line. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. First down for the offense. Yeah. 
and they'll take a knee. And this has to feel great for this offense, to come out here in front of your home crowd and make as many plays as you made. It's going to build a lot of confidence moving forward.